Hello everyone, Bricks Ahoy here. Lego has announced a partnership with Levi's and also Adidas. Are they just partnering with everyone under the sun to keep their brand name in the news since they aren't producing any movies at the moment? These team ups seem so random. The Lego IKEA partnership makes enough sense, and the finished products seem sensible enough, but what's going on over at Lego Group? First, Levi's. The press release wasn't too specific, but it seems like these are adult sized. Most of these items feature a quote, first of its kind, sewn on flexible Lego base plate, so you can build custom creations. Items with the base plate include a colorful hoodie, a crew neck sweater, a trucker jacket, jeans, vest, two different bags, a hat, and a beanie. A photo of the dots bag that's included for the customization was leaked, and it appears to include black, white, yellow, and red pieces, as well as a piece with the Levi's logo. For the partnership with Adidas, there was a fun animated stop-motion video revealing the limited edition shoe. It's very colorful and apparently it's mostly sold out. The Lego bricks on the shoes don't look like they're compatible with real Lego bricks. For whatever reason, both companies decided to go with garish color schemes that are reminiscent of the way I would have built as a child, with random parts in white, black, yellow, red, blue, and also green. During my childhood in the early to mid 90s, the basic brick buckets they sold didn't even include green bricks. And although green parts like trees and base plates were around, full-size green bricks were fairly uncommon. Looking through Brickset, it seems like green bricks being included in the buckets didn't become a thing until around 1998. So it seems a tiny bit odd to me that green was featured so prominently in the clothing, as green bricks weren't that common for the first 30 years or so of the LEGO system. Nowadays, you can't even buy bricks in bulk that don't come with all the fancy new colors, so it definitely seems like they were targeting a specific era here, since the color puke builds of kids today wouldn't look like any of this clothing. Most of this stuff revealed, from my perspective as a 30 year old LEGO fan, doesn't really appeal to me at all. LEGO has sold a number of official t-shirts in the past, but I feel like the graphics have always been skewed towards children. Lots of shirts with multicolored photographs and artwork, as well as logos and copyright notices on the front. So even though I'm not even slightly interested in the clothing that came out of the Levi's and Adidas partnerships, I would totally buy licensed t-shirts with LEGO related graphics on them in a heartbeat. If they sold shirts with the classic space logo on them, uh, possibly a variety of different colors, that'd be cool. Or maybe a monochrome silhouette of a brick? lego Fi Jolly Roger? Octan logo? Or how about the patent images for the Lego brick or minifigures? After doing a Google search, it looks like a lot of similar shirts to the ones I just described have been sold, but I'm not sure how many of them were officially licensed and not just bootlegs. And out of the ones that were officially licensed, I'm not sure if they were sold directly by LEGO or not. So yeah, while I fully welcome new partnerships in LEGO apparel, I really wish they'd make some more clothing with an adult demographic in mind. I don't want to worry about pieces falling off my shirt or going through the wash. Just give me some nice, soft, maybe tri-blend graphic tees with a minimalistic style and I'll be happy. So that's it. Are you inclined to buy any of the apparel from these partnerships with Adidas or Levi's? Or would you much prefer more simplistic clothing, closer to the ones that I threw together? Please let me know in the comments down below. Since you're still here, I have a quick channel update. I know I haven't uploaded in a while and I'm sorry for that, but I've been working hard on setting up a studio in my bedroom. It's not a very big space, but I have a lot of sets that I want to review, and I have a lot of content in the works, so hopefully I'll have the next video up soon. Thank you so much for your patience. Feel free to like and subscribe, maybe even hit that bell, and I'll be producing a lot more LEGO content coming very, very soon. Thank you for watching and have a great day.